Hey, welcome back. In this video, we are going to use the method of undetermined coefficients to find a particular solution to this differential equation, which, by the way, is second order and non-homogeneous. Um, using the method of undetermined coefficients, uh, we'll be able to get a particular solution, but also in this video, I'm going to find a complementary solution, uh, and then basically we can use the, the both of those to put them together and find the general solution as well. So really, the finding the particular solution is only is the only part that really classifies as the undetermined coefficients method. Um, but it depends what your professor might be asking you for. If it's just the particular solution, or you know, it's good to know how to find the um, general solution as well. So first of all, just to get started, let's get the complementary solution out of the way first. Um, it's really not part of the method of undetermined coefficients, but um, we can just go ahead and get it started. So we have y prime minus 8y. Uh, basically, we write the homogeneous differential equation that is associated with the original differential equation, which basically we just write the right-hand side as 0 and keep the left-hand side as it is. Now, if we want to convert this into the characteristic equation, or if we want to write the characteristic equation for this homogeneous differential equation, we can simply do that as r squared plus 2r minus 8 is equal to 0. And then if we go ahead and simplify that, um, that's going to be r plus 4 and r minus 2 is equal to 0. So we can see here that the roots, we have root 1 is going to be equal to 2, and root 2 here is going to be equal to negative 4. So we can write the complementary solution, yc of t, is going to be equal to c1e to the 2t plus c2e to the negative 4t. All right, so we're going to come back to this when we're looking for the general solution, but for now uh, we're going to change gears here and we're going to go after the particular solution. And because the right-hand side of our original differential equation has this exponential in it, um, the format of our particular solution we're going to assume is yp of t. This is our particular solution. It's going to have this form of ae to the bt, and so we have uh, 4t. We're not actually concerned about this t, this 2, this constant that's coming in front of it. We're just concerned about what was up here. And so if you remember from the last video, we have a e to the b t. So that b, which is 4 in this case, has to get brought in to our guess for what the particular solution is. All right, so what we want to do is we want to differentiate this once. So we have y p of t prime, and that's just going to be 4 a e to the 4 t. And then we're going to differentiate it again. Y double prime P of T is just going to be equal to 16 A E to the 4 T. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to plug this into our original differential equation. So all the Y P of T we're going to plug in where the Y goes. The first derivative we plug in where the first derivative is. And the second derivative we plug in where the second derivative is. So we're basically going to get um, 16 a e to the 4 t plus 2 times 4 a e to the 4 t uh, minus 8 times a e to the 4 t. And this is all equal to what we had on the right hand side, which is 2 e to the 4 t. All right, we can simplify this a little bit. So we just have 16a e to the 4t plus 8a e to the 4t minus 8a e to the 4t, all equal to 2e to the 4t. So this 8e cancels out with that 8e, and we're just left here with 16a e to the 4t equals 2e to the 4t. And if we just rearrange for a, uh, we're going to find that a is equal to 1 eighths. Or another way that we can think about this, which will be handy in the coming videos on this topic, is what do we need to set, without, without thinking about rearranging, um, what do we need to set a to to get the left-hand side equal to the right-hand side? So it's kind of the same thing as rearranging, but just it's a good way to think about these problems, and you'll see why um, in the next two examples. But basically, if we had 16 times an eighth, that's going to be the same thing as 2. And we're trying to match up, basically, with this whole thing. We want that, basically, to be equal to that. OK, 
okay. So now that we know that a is 1 8th, then we can say that our particular solution, yp of t, um, is equal to 1 8th times e to the 4t. Cool. So if your professor was just asking for a particular solution, then you have your answer here. Um, but if your professor was asking for the general solution to this problem, then the general solution pretty simply um, is going to be equal to just the complementary solution, yc of t, plus a particular solution, yp of t. And we have both of those, so we can just add those together and see that our general solution to this problem is c1e to the 2t plus c2e to the negative 4t plus 1 8 e to the 4t.